Once you have your different classrooms ready and connected, you can load them at any time. So I'm going to open my arts class and I can see that uh, at this session, we already have three students. Uh, one of them is a Windows uh, device connected. The other one is a Chromebook, actually my Chromebook. And the third one is a tablet. Uh, it's an Android tablet. So you, you can see that three different uh, type of operating systems, all three of them are connected to the same classroom. Uh, I'm not going to control myself, but I'm going to show you how uh, an example of how we can selectively uh, take these two students and for example, lock them, lock the devices for attention. So we get students' attention immediately. So the student cannot do uh, anything with the device. Once I stop, it will release it and they will be ready to work again. I can also take remote control of each and one of these devices. So for example, I'll take remote control of this uh, Android tablet. Uh, this is a full remote control, meaning that you can actually uh, control the device with touch. So if I click on the home button, it will go to home. I can swap to the right, swap to the left. Uh, like this and launch application. So I can also do that in full screen. So if we have a student that is working nicely, uh, this is a great way to uh, show his work. I can also do the same thing with a Windows device. If I take remote control, I will fully control the Windows device. So I can take that uh, PC, uh, and change it to different places. Another can also launch uh, the survey. So if I launch a survey, a yes or no survey, all the students will be uh, presented uh, with the console to uh, answer yes or no, uh, red is no, green is yes, so if I answer and I can see that David is still pending, but the rest of the classroom already answered. And also launch a shared whiteboard, which will allow me to draw on the same canvas. I got a different set of tools here to draw. And I can also allow my students to participate. So if I allow Mike to add something, then the tablet will add elements. If I take a look at the layers, I can see that the mic tablet added these layers. I can hide them or show them. And I can see that the teacher added th this layer. A student can raise his hand and you get an annotation that the student raised his hand. I can always remove the hand raising for everyone. You get more information about the device. The live thumbnail of what's going on at the same time. And information about the battery, about the Wi-Fi it's connected to some more information about the device itself, the installed application. If I don't want to see the students that are not connected and it's supposed to be in the classroom, I can hide them. Or bring them back. And of course I can change the size of the thumbnail, which makes it easier for you to monitor the classroom if you have a lot of devices. You can 
select all or none. You can also, also launch a website. For selected student. So you can see that this launched YouTube and both of them were launched at the same time for both of the students and with an automatic play. In humans, the main organs responsible for respiration are present in the thoracic. And I can also launch a shared video. Select it with all the classrooms. Select shared video and select the video file from my videos. Apply. And this will run a synchronized video with all my students. I can see the status that they're all stopped. But when I'm playing it, all of them will be synchronized and play the video together at the same time. If I skip this will also skip to showing all of them only at the same time. Apps at web, showing only approved apps at websites like Port. So you can see the video was playing on all the devices. I have to send a message. Hello, and students will be presented with a message, each one in a different way. Android is a pop-up on the screen. Windows will have a small pop-up on the, on the bottom, and the Chrome will have a pop-up on the right side. You can also apply a policy. If you want to um, lock the device into a certain policy, you can create as many policies as you want and for any type of device. So you've got Android, Windows, iOS, and Chrome policies. In this case, I would like to apply a Chrome policy on my device. This is, sorry, an Android policy on the device. And when I apply this Android policy, you can see that the device is immediately changing and now it looks completely different with a different uh, application list because the rest is locked. So if we take remote control, you can see that the device is completely locked. If I can click on the home button as many times as I want, but still, it is locked into a certain mode, only allowing Netflix, the calculator, and three three websites. When I when I'm done with the policy, or when I'm done with uh, that specific uh, exam that I wanted to uh, apply or something, I can take the, the policy and apply none. Which will immediately release the device and allow it to be a standard looking device again, allowing everything back. With Chrome, you can also browse the We'll see the browsing history, Chrome and Windows, you can also see the browsing history, and you can see my open tabs, and I can close the different URLs if I'm interested. So these tabs are now closed. And of course, I can always take a look at what happened in the classroom. So I sent the policy, remote control, shared a video when it, when it happened. 